My name is Ikram Nosri. I am the director of the Ramses Wiesa Wasif Art Center. Ramses Wiesa Wasif wanted to prove his idea in creativity with the children, so he chose an ordinary Egyptian village which had no arts or crafts whatsoever and uh, invited children from the age of 11 to come and weave. It is sometimes strange for people to understand why an architect will choose weaving to experiment uh, or to demonstrate his experiment because weaving is a very slow craft. It is challenging to the children when they will finish the, the small piece of weaving or tapestry they have in front of them, they will have a great sense of achievement. Uh, we have three rules. The first rule is we don't show children any drawings to copy. We don't discuss or show them any f other forms of art. Uh, the final and third rule was we don't criticize the children. Ramses Wiesawasif was uh, a professor of history of architecture and history of art. He understood very well the importance for uh, any craft or art to survive, that you must have the basic tools and the basic raw materials which you need. So the wool is Egyptian local sheep wool. The warp is made of Egyptian cotton, which is the background of the tapestry, remains the color. The color is the, you know, the most important thing. He knew that through history, natural vegetable plants were always used. They existed in Egypt, they existed in the Middle East. Many of them, they have disappeared. And he reintroduced them again in our garden here. So now we plant our own dyes. The first recognition to the art center started in 1958 when we were invited to the first international exhibition in Basel in Switzerland. From that year, uh, the outside world knew about the special uh, school of weaving uh, Ramses Wiesawas have started. We've been invited since to uh, museums and exhibitions all over the world. What is special about our tapestry is that each one of these works is one of a kind. That means we don't have a design that the artist or the weaver copy from. They choose their own tapestry one by one. And of course, the beauty of the natural vegetable dyes which we color all our wool with. This is really what makes our tapestry stand out. You know, one of a kind and the natural colors. This work has changed the life of the children who started here. They are no longer children. They started when they were 11, now they are 40 to 55 years of age. This is the only way they make their living. They take about 40% of the final sale of the tapestries. Between 25 to 30 goes to the material itself, the wool and the colors and everything. And between 25 to 30 percent, you know, this is what the art center receives from the sale of these tapestries. So it has transformed their life. They live in a better conditions, and uh, you know, they travel all around the world. Uh, it has empowered women because the majority of the weavers here are women. So it has empowered them and their families. They they have a say in how their family should run because they are big contributors to the economy of family, you know, the small family. But, you know, I, I don't know how it affects the Egypt as a whole, but it's uh, something, it's a good window for, uh, you know, beautiful creative handcraft.